The R36 Eruptor is without a doubt the smash hit from the recent Democratic Detonation Warbond. It marks the first primary weapon in the game capable of utility uses such as destroying fabricators and bug holes. It's also the first explosive primary which actually feels explosive with an impressive AoE and punch to match. It finally gives those looking to wield light support weapons like the stalwart machine gun a fitting primary to switch to. So we can finally run mirror loadouts where our primary is the heavy weapon and the support stratagem is the light. In our usual style, we'll be testing it against an array of both Terminid and Automaton units. So be sure to hang around until the end because the Automatons are where this thing really shines. And in my opinion, they are the far more interesting species to fight in the endgame. Let's get into it. The R36 Eruptor. This bolt-action rifle fires jet-assisted shells that explode shrapnel in all directions upon impact. Not recommended for close quarters use. It has a damage output of 380, a capacity of 5 rounds, recoil of 75, and fire rate of 25. It's medium armor penetrating and explosive. Its reload menu houses three different scope ranging options. 50 meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters. It's worth noting that this gun is unique in the sense that the round appears to have a maximum range of around 130 meters before it automatically explodes. Objective located, southwest. This means no sniping large targets from half the map away. I know, I know, it disappointed me too. The upshot is that you can use it to do things like this. As you might expect, it one-shots anything at warrior class and lower. Hive guards and brood commanders are in the 50-50 category. Sometimes it's a one-shot kill, other times it's not, and it appears to depend mostly on luck. I've had both side shots and headshots that have done the job in a single hit, meanwhile other times they haven't. The Eruptor tends to be quite selective with medium armoured units. Generally, you will want to aim for weak spots wherever possible, but don't always count on it taking them out in a single shot. Against charges, you may be very surprised. With a single shot at the right angle on the butt, a charger will bleed out in no time. Something else which takes no time at all is simply hitting the subscribe button to ensure you get notified of our future gun and stratagem tests. Currently less than 5% of you are subscribed so you're simply not getting notified when we release these. I'm fairly certain that no other primary can get even close to one-shotting a charger. To call this impressive is an understatement. Variability is the theme with the Eruptor. It really prizes well-placed shots. It can make the difference between easily one-shotting targets or really making a mess of things. Here's what a charger battle can turn into if you don't hit the magic spot. Being a bolt-action rifle, missing shots becomes extremely costly, as loading the round takes quite a long time. It's also astoundingly unwieldy, just look at the lag between my mouse and the gun here. Against the Terminates, you'll want to make sure that you load out with a support weapon that can take out the trash mobs, otherwise you'll be swarmed in no time. The Eruptor pairs very well with both the stalwart machine gun and the flamethrower. It also makes closing bug holes an absolute cinch. Containers, of course, are no match for it either. For my personal tastes, I am not sure that the Eruptor outdoes the utility of using the buffed Breaker Incendiary shotgun in the primary slot. But if you're after something that lets you change it up, or you really happen to be gung-ho about loading out with a flamer, it's a bit of a no-brainer. The sheer utility of being able to destroy radar towers, spore spewers, bug holes, etc. while still being able to melt anything south of a Baal Titan with the flamethrower is quite an appealing proposition. 
Having a primary, which by itself can take out charges without much trouble, is also remarkably novel, given the amount that they spawn in higher difficulties. Over on the other side of the galaxy, we test to see what it can do against our bot friends. One of the most hilarious things about the Eruptor is that not only can it one-shot foot soldier units, but it can take out over half a dozen in a single shot if they're grouped closely enough. Striders are absolutely no match for it, but much like the Terminids, anything with medium armor requires careful shot placement. There are certain spots on the Striders' front plating where the AoE simply won't destroy the pilot. It's hugely variable and not always entirely consistent. This takes on a whole new life with Devastators. These can range from easy one shots to requiring around three body shots to take out. The last thing you want to do is to run through your mag facing down a heavy Devastator. The Eruptor is so slow and unwieldy to load that you absolutely must make every single shot count, otherwise you're going to have an exceptionally hard time. This takes on a life of its own in higher difficulties as you're being mobbed from all sides. A support weapon which can take on hordes of trash mobs is basically mandatory unless you've coordinated with your squad for somebody else to be the light unit cleaner. Against hulks, I'm afraid to say it won't do much for you with a frontal assault. Like any other primary weapon, you'll be wanting to aim for those vents at the back to have any chance. Against turrets, there are definitely better options. The slow rate of fire and the fact that the turret likely won't keep its vent exposed to you means you'll be pecking away at it for quite some time. Stick to heavier armament for these. The Eruptor allows for some novel loadout choices, and was basically a mandatory addition to the Helldiver's arsenal. While it may not be the ideal choice for my personal sensibilities, as I tend to prefer quick, snappy primaries that make mincemeat of light units, it will definitely do the job for those of you who like to pack light support weapons. Its utility is undeniable, and the sheer amount of ammo it provides you with which to take out small installations, cargo containers, bug holes and fabricators makes it a very worthy addition to the game. I'll see you next time.